Hey, bestie. You know how sharing is caring. If I had to go through this, you do too. Boop. Hi, it's me, the G. Welcome to my channel. What does the G stand for? The G stands for go get a mask because we're kissing the coronavirus. There's an actual novel called Kissing the Coronavirus, which came out last year. And it's part of a series called Kissing the Coronavirus Chronicles. There's three books. They really said trilogy. It's rated nearly four stars with like 64% of people saying it's a five star book. Dr. Alexa Ashington Ford is part of a crack team of scientists tasked with finding the cure to the devastating coronavirus. When they say crack team, they mean the drug. This book is MJ Edwards' debut book and is her attempt at trying to pay the bills following her job loss. Honestly, hashtag girl boss. This is the cover. She was supposed to cure the coronavirus. Instead, she fell in love with it. Your medical life since revoked <laughs> I love the use of gradient. Man's looking a bit like handsome Shrek. I'm pretty sure that her outfit is breaking some lab regulations. Whoever edited this, I love how the fact that the green is overlapping her fingers, you know, to symbolize that, you know, she is so encaptured by the coronavirus that she becomes the coronavirus. Sing the coronavirus by MJ Edwards. Viral erotica. Now, I'm not a medical scientist, but I sent this to my friend who is practicing medicine to kind of verify these passages. Dr. Alexa Ashington Ford, I just know she has a trust fund, stared at the test tube between her fingers, her perfectly pink manicured nails clashing with a pale bubbling liquid inside. If anything that does not clash, the virus which had claimed so many lives, which made her heart beat furiously like a wild tiger crashing in its cage. That sounds like a medical condition. Alexa felt a rush of excitement every time she picked up the corona sample, like a pulsating erect desperate to unleash its devastation on anyone who touched it. Bestie, we are just nine lines in. What type of a word association do you have to go through with picking up a dangerous virus sample and the simile, the tickle in her knickers when she worked with the sample was the only sexual release she had experienced. The virus has unleashed hell and taken it all to the <laughs> Imagine what she could do with the it. nipple hardening like a tic tac. Imagine how she would feel if she touched herself with it. Pretty great, Alexa thought. Pretty great indeed. Hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. A man really said DIY dildo. And then she like unbuttons her coat. Now I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm going to be referring to this as pen So then Dr. Alexa, if she even deserves that name, starts like unbuttoning her coat. Goes on with the extended metaphor of the test tube being like a pen 50. The kitty cat so wet that the lace glided across her like a fat man on a water. I don't know if that's body shaming. Acid just makes me feel really uncomfortable shown it in this way. <laughs> Um, also, I would like to say that like very rarely are you really ever truly alone in a lab. You usually have a lab tech that doesn't leave. But I just don't know why you would be doing this in those zones because the whole point of those zones is to keep it sterile and not do whatever she's doing in the first passage. Dr. Ashington Ford, would you mind cataloging these new test samples? Shit. Alexa hadn't realized that her boss, Dr. Gertli Chund, <laughs> had walked back into the lab. But ever having been stuck in the lab with him for so long, so deprived of the feeling of a hot man dong. Huh? What? Why do you act like that? Like what? The way that you act, you don't, you don't see how you act while people don't want to be around you? No. Look how you act. Mm -hmm. She knew the vaccine they were waiting to trial on human patients needed just a little more COVID-19 in order for the body to properly build up the necessary antibodies. But would Dr. Gertli Chand listen? No! So the virus is infecting Dr. Wobble and Dr. J. And then Dr. Gertli Chand is like, bitch, we need to get a cure. He became more determined. So determined, in fact, that he had stopped listening to reason. And because Alexa had huge boobies, thick ass, and nice legs, he would sometimes overlook her. This is a comment on the prejudices that women face when they are in a STEM career. Dr. Ashington Ford, did you hear me? You've been standing there not responding to me for three and a half minutes. Babes, if someone stands there for three and a half minutes and doesn't respond to me, I am calling the police. Alexa placed the sample back on her workbench. Now the sample is infected, not only with COVID, but whatever STD that she's clearly harboring. If this is the type of shit she's doing in a lab, imagine what she does when she's at home. If you catalog these new samples and the data aligns, we might just be ready to try out the And cure. now finally, there was a slim chance that they might have found the cure. And then Alexa would finally know what it felt like to grasp in her hands again. Bestie.
priorities go? Probably not even that good. She tore open the box of samples and began running them on the sample meter. But Alexa knew she had to replicate the results against the original sample. Any excuse to hold that powerful beast in her hands once again? She didn't need to be asked twice. Alexa took the creamy, bubbling COVID-19 sample from the workbench, holding it close to her quivering breasts as she returned to the sample meter. Quivering breasts? How do they quiver? Like, do they have a mind of their own? Does she have incredible muscle control? Are they afraid? She knew there wasn't enough COVID-19. She just knew it. Alexa opened the test tube filled with the trial vaccine. Pop. She opened the tube filled the coronavirus sample. Pop. The creamy liquid bubbled and popped like a fresh bowl of rice crispy. Even the sound of the virus <laughs> made her ovaries clash together like simple. Bestie. That's a medical problem. <laughs> the sound of the... The hills are alive with the sound of COVID. She only needed to add a drop. She was one of the best scientists around. So, so confident a drop would be all it would take to make the vaccine perfect. How does she know? How does she know? When they say one drop, I would hope they mean one drop with a pipette. Just no, no, just stop it. I don't know, maybe it's because I've worked in a lab. I just know how strict the lab environment is when working with like DNA and blood and all of that. Like, I don't even know what a samplometer is. Place the lids on each test tube and return the vaccine to the cabinet. Dr. Gertley Chand would never need to know Alexa had made the changes. Surely they would need to know in order to replicate like the covid vaccine is not some kfc seven secret spices they'd use the original vaccine to create more and more and more to use across the world that's not how it works lab work is so vigorous you have to know where you've gotten it if you don't record anything and your experiment is not reproducible is it even relevant if no one else can do it so then dr getley chan comes back in and then she was like wow the samples are amazing Alexa's like yeah 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 i'll write a letter to the medical council on it and then Dr. Gertley Chan is like, no, we're skipping approval from the medical council. Skipping the medical council, unethical, incorrect. Alexa's heart fluttered like it had done the time she <laughs> the farmer's cross-eyed son. <laughs> and uncrossed his eyes. <coughs> Man's given me COVID. Alexa's not just any doctor, she's Jesus. <laughs> like, how do you... Like, was the kitty cat so good <laughs> that the person's eyes were like, shit, I need to see this in HD. <laughs> they were like, damn. <laughs> 1080p for me. <laughs> Dr. Gertley Chun then takes the vaccine that Alexa added COVID to. I'll do it. He said. Alexa gasped. Doctor, no. Yes, Alexa. He said sternly. He took a syringe out of his lab pocket. Then Dr. Gertley Chun dipped the needle into the vaccine and drew the blue liquid up into the liquid holding pot. <laughs> Like, honestly, the descriptions. Don't worry. You don't need a medical degree to read this. Oh, but you can't, Alexa said, grabbing his bicep. It was so small. So weak. This is like the fourth time we've got body shaming. Alexa, do better. Alexa, I can. And I will. I have to. No, I had a reason. I huh? had a reason. What, what had a was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the I reason? Just I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was have the reason? Better me than some helpless children. Children! Babes, if they're trialling on children, this is some black market vaccine shit, man. Like, what's this? It's a very saviour complex um, character. Like, okay, fine. Children were never going to be the first person to be in a trial anyway, so it'd always be healthy individuals, but again, okay. I have to do this, Alexa, and I didn't tell you this before, but... I have the coronavirus. Alexa gasped again, <gasps> then covered her mouth as she realized she and Dr. Gatley Chand were not practicing social distancing etiquette. Dr. Ashing Chan Ford, if the trial doesn't work, it has been an honor working with you. You're not going off to war. He fell to the floor. Doctor! No! Don't come any closer. I have it under control. For some reason, the lights flashed. <laughs> Whipped. <laughs> Whipped around the laugh. Lashing Alexa's hair back and forth, shaking. Bestie, why does her boot? Why does it keep moving? Where did the wind go? And Alexa's heart hammered harder than the time she was hammered.
by the carpet fits up when he came to fit carpet. I'm imagining her hair moving back and forth. <laughs> it's the similes are just references to the time where she gets, you know, no wonder she's crazy. Alexa edged back, pushing back until her back pushed against the wall. Laureate right there. Um, Bob? Who is Bob? Who? What? I know no Bob. A hand clamped down on the workspace. It looked like a normal hand, except it was green. Alexa stepped away, heart ravaging inside her chest. Now, this is like the fifth time Alexa talks about her heart. Babes, you need to go get that checked out. His strong brow, piercing blue eyes, of course. A wide jaw, like the trunk of a car. A bulge inside his trousers, the size of a medium length python that is also a medical condition you're not gonna find any trousers in primark that's gonna fit you that just sounds like a burden to me legs and presumably feet but alexa couldn't see behind the desk his muscles were so large and toned they practically harmed how did how how did how he was covered in small green bumps which sciencey people like alexa called spike proteins wait if he had spike proteins that means he was no no it couldn't possibly be no, but it could just be. Are you the virus? If you're going to write a novel about the coronavirus in the time of the pandemic, then it's worth making sure you are up to date with the science. All of him was green is just incorrect. And then because he already had COVID, you add them together and he becomes COVID. This is some type of shit that if you're not careful, anti-vaxxers will use and treat like gospel they'll actually use this as medical evidence anyway it turns out that actually alexa gave him covid she's just asymptomatic get tested and then she starts thinking about his ding dong schlong she looks up at him his eyes were striking like a goat's but without the sideways pupils <laughs> the spike proteins lapping away from his skin what does that even mean what does this even mean? A big hand grabbed at her even bigger breast, clinging on like he was climbing a mountain. You're gonna get a DOV medal. Yeah, I can't read the rest of this because it's very NSFW. But basically, they just, you know, Gucci Gucci wah wah woohoo on the floor. And I'm just thinking, listen, you're in a lab right now. This is highly unsanitary. As COVID wrapped her up in his arms, she was the filling in a burrito. She wanted to spend eternity encased in his warming warmth. <laughs> was this? love she ignored what her head had said the dread and instead she had embraced love she closed her eyes and she rested and rested and bestie this is the best book i have ever read in my entire life yeah, leave me a like if you want me to read book two with you guys i don't know how you felt about this novel but i found it thrilling there are times in the novel where you think hey this is a comment on society and the patriarchy and how they don't value women's work the doctor succumbs to the disease in the end she submits to it and in the end she doesn't find a cure but she does find love so it's like what do we value more as a society love or work. It's like, girl, why are you so horny for After you? reading that, I feel like I need to claim some, like, compensation. Like, I need to claim an accident at work injury. But yeah, if you enjoyed this crusty content, I make stuff about books, design, and the media. And a subscribe would be nice. You can turn on the notification stuff. And you can like if you want to. You can comment if you want to. You can follow my Twitter and my Instagram if you want to. I do feel like I need to practice some, like, social distancing from that novel now. Um, if you made it all the way here... I do recommend that you take a COVID test. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you guys next time for more crusty content. <sighs>